Hello, listeners. Uh, welcome to another Two Kind of Tova PS. Uh, my name is RJ, and I am joined by delightful and wonderful. <laughs> Hello, the world here, and I, I, I'm now starting to say this as a trademark. I do apologize, but I'm here, and I'm on my bullshit. Yeah, Woo! I mean, it's saying you're on your bullshit and pleasure ever off your bullshit, which we both know is never. Um. But yeah, so yeah, so a little preface before we start. Uh, this will have spoilers for um, Heads or Tails. Uh, so all of the trigger warnings that are in that game will probably apply to this FPS. Um, and it may or may not have spoilers for a new deal. I don't know yet. But uh, as a as a fair warning, the warnings on that game may also apply to this game too. Uh, so there's your your safety check for the day. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, so... So... Uh, v why don't you go ahead and describe kind of how how, how Lynn's doing today, because I see those roles. <laughs> yeah! Lynn today, it was on her fray die, 47 and 3. She has actually had good dreams last night! Yeah, we take that. <laughs> She's doing good. She's gone about, quite frankly, a normal day nowadays. Probably doing her normal stuff related to cases and that sort of thing, because she is still a detective. But it is light work. She's got Hattie going out with the sketches. She's got Rye's gone out to be with his friends or to do something for himself. She's having a nice time with network going, yeah, all right. Laid back day. This is good. Cool. Okay. <laughs> so, um, it's a fairly nice day in Halloween Town, and Network is a delightful building that we love. Um, <laughs> Network. Uh, does Network have stats still? Do you still have stats? Uh, Network. Network still has stats. Let me grab the stats. Da, 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 da. I have to grab the network as a baby. Yes, network is a baby. I've I've had a few sheets for network, so I had to distinguish by saying baby. <laughs> yeah, if you want to go ahead and roll me a quick perception check. Will do. Network baby, your honor. Give. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Where is my... Aha! D20. That is a 14 plus 6, so that is a 20! 30, 20, nice! Okay. So, uh, it's probably by the click that you first notice him. Um, there's a, uh, a rhythmic clicking that you would recognize to be the click of a cane uh, on on the on the cobbled roads, and it's familiar but not familiar. With a dirty twenty, you can pick out this is not the usual person you would expect to be walking up to network with a cane. Uh, and as he rounds the corner, oh, it's this asshole. Mm -hmm. Except he looks like shit. Um, he's got the cane, first and foremost, and he's leaning rather heavily on it. Um, his, his face is, is kind of shaded under the brim of his hat, but he's moving slower than you've seen him in the past. And the hand that's not clenched, white-knuckled around the top of the cane is shaking. Uh rather a lot, actually. Um, yeah, so, so, yeah, so how does Network take that? It's very clear he's walking to Network. Yeah. There, there'd been, at first, when there'd been the click of a cane, there had absolutely been the perk up of just, Is it Jacques so spooky? Jacques so spooky? And clocking, no? Clocking, ah, decimal. 
literally no other extra things, just decimal. Mm-hmm. And before before she can charge up to do anything, clocking that sort of stuff and actively not doing anything. Just watching as Decimal gets closer, observing, because that... That not right. That's not right. Oh no. What wrong? What wrong? He, uh... He stops about 15 feet away, which he is <laughs> guesstimating is probably far enough away that if you should, should try something, uh, he will have time to back off, because he's not, not able to react quite as fast as he'd like today. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, he, he does stop, and he sighs. Squares his shoulders, looks up at you, and goes, I know that you don't like me, but I need to talk to Lynn. What do I have to do to let you- to get you to let me in? And as he looks up, you can see there's a set of parallel scars down his face that bisect his eyes. It- it definitely must be strange, staring at this building, it, after you've just talked to it, and not hearing anything for a very long moment. It might, quite frankly, just seem as though you are talking to thin air, so it has been an entire waste, and then... The door clicks. And that's all you... You know what a door unlocking or what a door locking sounds like. That unlocked. You can roll the insight if you like. Insight yeah, or he will. Is this is In this sight based? Uh Hmm. It can have a it can have a part, yes. Okay. It can have part that is sight based. It is also I can also say you can roll history. Seeing as this is basically related to the Stagehand's Requiem as a concept. Okay. Um, what's the keyboard for this? He will be guiding saying this insight check, but because it's sight based, he has disadvantage. Which, even with disadvantage, you're also not to 20 to 17. Fuck's sakes. Yeah. And then a 3 on top, uh, plus his stupid modifier. Uh, <laughs> so that's a dirty 30. <laughs> By God's on, on the insight, and then uh, fucking history. You said um, doesn't roll as well, but still fairly decent. That's a sixty. All right, all right. With that, I'm gonna give. Yeah, it's your vision is blurry. I'm presume I'm presuming that's the best way of phrasing it. His vision is piss poor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would be just the, the bluntest way of putting it. He can see things like the sweet spot is about three feet from him. Mm -hmm. Further than that, it gets stupid blurry. Closer than that, it gets stupid blurry. And he has a hard time focusing even within that sweet spot. But he can distinguish colors. He can kind of roughly distinguish blobs from each other within that sweet spot you can s mostly distinguish shapes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right all right so distinguishing colors and shapes that that sort of makes sense in that you can see this building how well at first how there had been the little sparks of the new the new um knocker on the door that is a little skeleton. Yeah, that, that had sparked just for a tiny second, but no. No, th this... This isn't a trap. That door unlocking, you know that that is genuine. There is a slight dulling of the gold of the windows, but not in a extremely unwelcome way. Everything... It doesn't feel inviting. Not to an extreme. But it does feel as though you can come in, and with that, with that history, with everything else, you know Lynn. 
you know Lin's desire to help, and quite frankly, you have probably heard, because Lin is known as Detective Stagehand, as THE Detective Olo Reinquell, if you need help, you can always find the Stagehand's Requiem. No tricks, no trouble, you will be helped. Network's not going to do anything to you because you are someone who needs help, and they see that. Not in a demeaning way, but in a... They get when something is serious enough to put things aside. Hell yeah. Okay. I'm also just- I'm gonna roll- I'm gonna roll medicine for Network. Network is a baby! <laughs> Network is also a, unfortunately, a genius loci who has had their person go through a vast range of people and she herself go through a lot of pain. Okay, yeah, okay, I say that and then she goes and rolls a 19 on the dice. Nice. Yeah. She's had a lot of people visit. She's, she's figuring out stuff, especially like the site things. So you are going to get slight accommodations when you come inside. They're going to do their best. Hell yeah. Okay. He does pause for a moment because he's a paranoid bastard and that's not been helped by everything that's happened. Uh, but he will give a nod and then limp on inside. Uh, and as he gets closer, you can see now, because it was mostly hidden by his coat, uh, but as he reaches to to push the door open a little bit wider, uh, his coat falls open. One of his legs has been melted. <laughs> yeah, as you're coming inside, there is a steady hum in the background, just a rising, falling. It's not. It's definitely not a musical pitch. It's not... A melody. Well, it is a melody, but it's not a song, if that makes sense. It definitely does feel as though it's a song, but it's a language. And yeah, you are absolutely getting... Basically, all of this is basically getting spilled to Lynn, because Network tells all to their warmth bringer. Especially... Oh. Melted. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Because Network knows what that is! There have probably been a few tunes in the past where Lin's got an informant who came through the door like that when they got their cover blown. No one likes that. But yeah, as you come in, the door does swing open so you don't even have to grab it properly. It's just a slight nudge to get it. And... Yeah. And I'm going to roll a d2 to see whether Lynn's in the main room or whether she's in her side office. Because she does do a lot of work in her side office. That is... I should roll it here because I do not have a d2. And yes, I know it's technically a... Yeah, so she's out in the main bit. She's out at her main desk. And as you come in, you, you do see that golden form at the desk opposite. There are all... Behind her, there is that foggy window and around it all of the what you used to know what you usually know are like achievements awards newspapers all of those sorts of things all of her life's work but you can't see it properly here but she is just sitting there framed by all of that and she does just look up hello decimal Roll insight. I'm assuming that's deception, and I don't think she can beat his crazy ass modifier, but that is a 23. <laughs> you rolled terribly. Wow! <laughs> God! Yeah, he fixes a smirk on his face. Um. You can see through it, and that in and of itself is disconcerting. Um, oh, he hurtin', he hurtin' bad. Uh, but he, he steps inside a bit to let the door close behind him, gives you a nod. Detective. Um, 
I'll admit, I was wondering when you'd show up. <laughs> You've been through the wars, haven't you? <laughs> that would imply that I get fought back. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, you don't do anything by halves, that's to say. God's sake. Well, you're here for a reason. You always are. Why don't you come on in, eh? Uh, hmm. So far, all seats. And she's just... She, Whether she says seats, she does give a knock to her desk on that one. What is the difference? Uh, well, both of them are comfy for one, but I guess it depends on whether you're here to rest or for business. Rest of the mind or rest of the heart? How very pity of you. Mm. No, actually, I'm here to help you. Oh? Do you remember, um, after our oh? first encounter, you said you'd look into me? Ah. What did you find, <laughs> Detective? <laughs> and she does lean back in her chair at that one. There is the creak of it just slightly, just... To be a bit more uh, blunt than usual, Jack and a shit. Ooh, bring up the real kind swears. Eh, yeah, I'm full of them. Hey, I actually watched myself a lot more than I did when I was a kid on that front, but... You are a very hard man to find and to track information down on. It's... I've got a few bits over the years, or... Year. Just a, a few little things, mainly things that you've told me. Although I had... I had sussed a few things. But... Your file is one of my slimmest, as I'm sure you're actually quite satisfied at. I can't say I'm not entirely smug about it. Mm. Read me out what you've got. I want to see how far you've gotten before I fill you in. Mm. Alright. And she does just... She does shuffle in her chair a bit and she does just go... Listen, if we're going to be having a conversation like this, it, come on in and sit down, eh? Don't, don't make me talk across the room at you. And she's just going to her desk and just... It is... It's relaxed. You can roll insight if you like, because this is decimal. But just, yeah, it's just... Everything's fine. Sight based or no? Uh, it's hard to say when it's a partially. I'm going to go no. Twenty-one. 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 Nice. <laughs> yeah. Desmond, you've come in heavily limping. Or not heavily limping, but limping pretty decently. With those nice new scars on your face, literally all of this. Lynn's not reacted much at all. And you don't think that's because she's ignoring it. You do think that's... Lynn's seen people go through a lot. And Lynn knows you are a person who prides yourself on a lot of dignity. She's not in any way pitying or doing any of that sort of stuff. And when she's doing everything like this, it's basically her trying to figure out the best way to provide help without providing help. To not be a molly coddler, to not, like she probably would if Craigry walked in like this, leap over the desk and cast cure wounds and all of that sort of, sort of stuff and start fussing. Mm -hmm. It's... She's trying to do this in a way that is yours. It, 
She she is trying. And you can kind of tell there is a respect in there on that front. He sees that, or, well, sees in the metaphorical sense. Um, takes a moment and a breath, kind of There's a, a brief look that passes across his face, too quick for you to catch. Um, and then he goes, how far forward is the desk? Uh, from you, about 17 feet. Uh, as you come forward, it, it you'll be surprised. Network, network can be very encouraging on things. It's... They won't change any distances, but it, it'll be a smooth ride, I promise. If the floor moves, there's probably a solid chance I'll fall over. Hmm. And there is a very soft hum, and... The floor almost actually seems a little firmer on your feet when you take that next step. He, he does walk over. Um, how low are the chairs, do you think? Quite... Frankly, they are slightly adjustable. It's they are that sweet spot where you don't have to like have your feet dangling if you don't want to. Yeah, his his issue is if they're too low to the ground. Given his current pain level, he might not be able to get back up again unassisted. I think with the earlier nineteenth, like that was yeah. The earlier what... the earlier medicine check would have let. Uh, network know that, so... Straight up, as you were coming in, Network actually probably adjusted the seats. <laughs> network it's... beloved. Network does genuinely try a lot on this sort of stuff. They get a lot of people coming in at various levels. There have been points where it's literally just change the carpet and get ready to catch. Throw out the chairs, we can't let them know we sit. <laughs> God. Okay. Uh, yeah. So he walks forward, uh, tapping with the cane, and then as as he walks forward about fifteen feet, and then slows a little bit more and reaches a little bit with the cane, hits the chair, works his way to the chair, and then takes a seat. Uh, bad leg kind of stretched out in front of him. Uh, and he he doesn't bother like closing his coat over it at this point because he realizes network's tattled on him. So you can mm. see that his left thigh is a mess of melted line work and running color it's it's all healed over as much as it's going to by this point but mm -hmm. it's bad could she roll investigation to figure out like quite frankly she would think that would probably be diluted dip at best because Thankfully, it hasn't gone all the way through. So she Which... ask? I think, yeah, you know what? She's blunt enough and she respects Decimal enough to just, as he sits down, just biting the bullet. Your leg. Diluted dip or something else? Incomplete dip. Just as a Still look like a bitch, though. Mm. The person who did that to you. Are they still around? Roll inside again. Mm hmm. Oh, God, okay. That is a 18 plus 6. Oh, yeah, now you see through this one. Because uh, his lower roll was a 16. Wow. Yeah, he's not he's not rolling well for deception so far. Um You you asked that question and then a very strange look crosses his face. Um It looks like grief, it looks like guilt. And you're not quite sure what to make of it, because you've never seen that expression on Decimal's face before. Mm-hmm. But he only hesitates a moment before saying no. 
Okay. Okay. If you need any help with any associates or such, let me know. Oh, but help. No, no, no. They, um, mm -hmm. they don't want to worry about it. Didn't even consider it. It's just business. Mm. <clears throat> but we have gotten off of topic. I believe I have a question. Indeed, indeed. Uh, what I have so far, I admit, I originally, when we first interacted, I, I had my best guy go out, a uh, wonderful guy, my, my second, I, very good, very diligent, normally comes back with a file that's big enough for me to have to actually decently hold it, and usually you took, like, a two cup of coffee, and you know my coffee. He came back, and... And she slaps down the folder, opens it up, and pulls out a single sheet. And she does give it a shake in the air for emphasis on that, so you can tell it is just a single sheet. Basically, what you wanted people to know, that you went around, that you did your tarot readings, it, it did disappear for a brief period. Uh, but that's neither here nor there on that front. Hmm. Now, what I would deduced. <sighs> here and there. Oh, you said you weren't from around here. And quite frankly, if you're not around here, from if you're not from Ainquil, then I'd, I'd got a hunch where you're from, especially with uh, recent events. Hugh did contact me that he was back from Faruma. I could make some educated guesses on that front, especially with my profession specialising in the toon trade. <laughs> Believe it or not, I am not actually a stupid person. I just act it from time to time, sometimes play into it. It's a pretty good trope, the doddering detective. I see more than people think. You you were, in a way, running from someone. You threw your past away. As your own words, at one point, in fact. Yes, I recall. I won't go into details on that, we both know it, but... A change of identity, a change of design. You were running... Something changed you, or... The circumstances, that, that is up in the air to me. I don't entirely understand all of that all the time, but I do understand extreme redesigns, usually forcible. Came over here, snarky. Don't like many people, don't trust easy. You haven't had many people to rely on in the past. Probably had to watch your back considerably, your incredibly detailed understanding of people. You've clearly had to do that before, either as part of a trade or, well, survival. Actually, both, most likely, yes. Especially with what's here now. Always watching your back, waiting... Waiting to see how the tables turn, waiting to see how you can fit into the situation, and how you can turn it in your favour, because you've had to. Your hands, you've explained those before, or at least shown to a partial extent, when you gave me the gloves. They're heavily injured. For one reason or another, definitely not willingly inflicted in a way. You've had your hand forced on that front to an extent. I don't know your history, so I'm not going to make an immediate assumption on that front. All of this? My guess, as a detective, is running from someone who had you in the first place, when you were younger and more innocent. Why and how? Whether it was a kidnapping, a snatch, or... Well, I'm a detective, I know enough things with the honeyed words. You make it all sound so vicious. Hmm. <laughs> no. Well, yes, but no. Not quite. 
All right. And she does sit in her chair, and there is the lean forward as she rests her hands on the desk, both clasped. It's in a way that feels very familiar for a detective setting. Not quite personal, but present, as she goes. goes. All right. I am presuming by all of the walking in, all of this, all of this entire situation, this is a filling in of everything, so tell me what you want me to know. By this point, he has closed his eyes. Um, mm hmm. Which, now that you're sat closer, you can tell they're not red anymore. They're gold. Mm -hmm. Um, and his his hands are kind of resting on the top of his cane, uh, which is trembling under the force of how ha badly his hands are trembling. Um, and he kind of has his head tipped ever so slightly to one side, um, as he kind of pauses to 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 gather all his thoughts together, um, and then he goes. There was, once upon a time, a little prince, and his name was Raga. That wasn't his name to begin with, they didn't have a name to begin with. He was charming, and he was very, very perceptive, and he was very, very skilled with his hands. You say that reading people was a skill I learned, it was not. It has been part of his design since the beginning. But he was naive. And a fool. And when someone presented him with an opportunity to... Get off the streets, get ahead, get a roof over his head and food in his stomach, he agreed, blindly. They gave him a name, and he signed that name on the dotted line. And it was the worst mistake he ever made. I see. His green matched well with the green of the Viridian Garden. Mm. I won't go into all the details. Gods know you don't need to know them, but when he was twelve, he ran away, slipped out the window, climbed down the building, and threw himself into the harbour, because he realised death would be better than any of that. And he did die that day. He was killed. By me. I, who came to take his place. I crawled out the harbour and left. Hopped on a boat here and there, journeyed down for him as coast, and then came across to Einquell. Watch new identity. Gave myself a title. <laughs> and met a woman who would become my mentor until she abandoned me three years ago now almost to the date <laughs> still i can't forget her too hard she did teach me quite a few things I see. I got tired of running. Decided I would head back, confront 
him. I didn't even make it to the docks. You see, the Rodian Garden was is a casino in a city called Katadan. I'm aware. Yes. I'm... You would be, wouldn't you? Of course. <laughs> well, what you may or may not know is that the former owner of the casino mm -hmm. was the head of a massive smuggling line. If there was an item that you needed and you couldn't get it through legal channels, he could get it for you for a price. I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll history for Lynn to see how much of that she actually knows. She's not going to interrupt. Oh, of course you would, Lynn. <laughs> Ava, you, yeah, that's what you're saying. What you don't, what you don't know, basically. Uh, mm, no. Yeah, he he said what you may or may not know. Uh, he figured what? she probably did, but there, there is. You, your, your hearing is good. There is a slight twitch of her tail against the back of her chair in a way that probably is just a silent yeah. Because Lindsay's specialization, kidnapping, murders, and the trades. Specifically the tune trades, but no, no, she, she knows this sort of stuff. She also has absolutely made the connection of just the former, the former owner, just ah, okay. She, she knows. She can read between lines. But she doesn't say anything. She's letting you carry on. He used the Viridian Garden as a front to launder the money and to keep eyes off of him. And it was <laughs> as a favor, I believe. That he enlisted the help of the Thrall. I take it by that reaction, you're familiar. Far more than I'd like. You just raise an eyebrow at that. Yeah, you can roll... You can roll insight if you like. I'm, I'm gonna roll deception for Lynn. Ha! Okay, she didn't roll great. We'll see. We'll see how you do. Hey, twenty-five. Yeah, no, you you can read her. You can read her. Today it's a day of reading each other in a way. It's, perhaps it's similar tale stuff. Perhaps it's other things. But yeah, the way she said that is incredibly grim. Incredibly in a way that seems slightly personal. And there is a slight, there is a slight gritting of her teeth, and you can almost hear a little noise of her fur. But she just goes, I have had interactions with them recently. When all of this is said and done, I will say a name of someone we both know that you might be interested in talking to just briefly. You might both benefit from it. We'll see. But that is neither here nor there. Not now. Well, that's well. Mm. Alright. You just like shift position slightly, wincing a little bit. Um Right out of that buff. Right, yes. He enlisted the help of the throne. I don't know how or why, but it was as a favor to him that they ambushed me on the way to the docks. <laughs> they had, uh, they tried to use magic to hold me in place at first, but it didn't work. <laughs> I'm a stubborn fucker. <laughs> but they had, um, 
I don't know how to describe it other than a magical ball of iron ropes. Not quite ropes. Um, more like strips. Held in place. And then. Uh, iron bands of binding. I'm familiar. That works. Tried to break it out, but it just got tighter. <laughs> they teleport the pair of us to a tent. I would assume by a private marina, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> And then the next day... <sighs> he, like, very visibly hesitates. And there's a, f a flicker of fear even now, even knowing that the man is dead. And he's, like, very clearly frustrated with himself because of it. Um... It, it's not said. There's no active gesture about it. It's not as though there's any pity, but there is a slight hum. Just a little warming of the building around you. It, it's not exactly unpleasantly cold. It's not been this entire time. But there is a subtle warming and just the little shifting of the building. Just enough that it's clear where you are. He takes a deep breath, uh, lets it out, and then goes, Lucian came to pick me up. He had an indenture he had with him. Keep me in place with magic. While his right hand bound me up, carried me onto the boat threw me into the hold, and then jumped down after me to tie me up. It dangled me from the ceiling by a meat hook, by my hand. And then he had his indenture pour acetone on my leg, so that I couldn't run away. She doesn't say anything. There is a subtle just leaning forward in her chair again, just resting there. And she's not saying anything, not out of a... The best way of putting it is that she knows not to say anything. But this is your story. Okay, alright. She... she... She could bombard with questions, she could even lead with questions, but she doesn't think that's what you need or want. So Lois was a 14 plus 4. Okay. He's keeping his cool. Hugh told me I was gone for a few weeks. I don't actually remember most of it. So sorry, but your records are going to be lacking the details in that part. But, uh. On the, the day that they came. By this point, Lucian had uh, destroyed my eyes and cut out my vocal cords. Um, <clears throat> and he put a, a ring on my finger. I don't 
magic is not my forte, but... Mm. At one point... He pulled me out onto the balcony, put me in a force cage. I wasn't fully aware. There was a loud sound, and then it heard. I suspect the ring was transferring some of his pain to me. Mm. It was a fight, obviously. Um, Hugh and, and March and Grey and... Um, Hugh managed to get the indenture on his side. <laughs> He's always had a knack for talking people around. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened at the end. Lucian knocked me out the force cage into the harbour. Oof. He goes silent. Uh. Because that was a, a three plus four. And, mm -hmm. uh, you're, you're familiar with, with PTSD. Uh, and you can tell he's accidentally talked himself into a flashback. Decimal? Hey. Can you do me a favor and just, uh, listen to my voice a minute, I guess? You're okay. You're here. Whatever you're seeing, whatever happened, you're out. Right? You're here at the Staytown's Requiem in Halloween Town with me. Right? You're here with Lynn. The date is... And she does start just listing stuff off. And she's... She's wanted to all this time, but... Can I roll insight to see whether Decimal would be okay with a magic being cast on him? You don't need to roll insight for that. He would not. <laughs> well, she doesn't... She does She does cast a dancing light, so there is a pumpkin spice here. And it is a low light. It is not that searing anymore. It is just... She probably even casts it underneath the desk, so it is just a lightning. Just there is pumpkin spice, not whatever smells were there. Not a harbour. Yeah. I, I gave him advantage because of that. Like, he had- he was rolling flat because you were helping him, but then I gave him advantage because of the- the- the sense good. Which is good, because he first rolled a three, and then he rolled a fourteen. So he's back with the room, at least. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> fucking, uh... Eighteen on the- on the wizard. Um... Uh, and he- he kind of sucks in this desperate breath that, uh... Someone who is drowning, who's just come up for air, would kind of inhale. Um, mm -hmm. Fuck. Okay. You're okay. This is not an act of pity. This is an act of understanding. Do you need to take a moment, or is there anything you need that I could provide, or that you have that could help, help you in this moment? Just let me finish when we're done. Of course. The weave gave me a partial redesign heal. My wounds to an extent. Uh, and then I called out the harbour again, went round the front of the building, and... He was there, so I pulled out a dagger and I threw it, and it hit him in the forehead and he died. I killed him. I don't know what happened after that, I think I passed out.
What happened when you eventually came to? Um, I I was someplace else, uh, a hotel room. Good. Hugh and and March were there. Gray and the indenture and someone else I didn't recognize. Uh, <laughs> my eyes were gold. And I think it triggered Hugh. He started crying. Ah. I can't see very well in case that hasn't been immediately obvious. Mm. Um. It wouldn't be to most. You and I are both good actors. Oh, come now, tell it like it is. We're both lying liars who lie. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay, you got me dead to rights. <laughs> the I have several questions on many different factors, I guess. Uh, one I would like to just ask the indenture. Do they have a name that you know? Maelstrom. Thank you. They're not an indenture anymore. Um, they, uh, rather dramatically also, I was told tore out their studs. Uh, and <laughs> so at this point you would notice Decimal's missing a set of studs. In mm -hmm. his the two higher ones uh, are there, but the lower ones that were in the middle of the lobe are gone. She's not a dumb monkey. She, she'll connect the dots on that one. Especially with everything else that's been laid down, just ah. Thank you. I am glad. And you've been able to make it back to Ankwell well, now. I... Passing communication said that you were seeking help. That's good. I've talked to Peace a couple of times. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, that's the connection there, yeah. All right. <sighs> and she does lean back in the chair for a minute and just... She has thought... She is thinking over everything that has been said. I believe I understand why... The gold was triggering to Hugh. I believe I understand a few things that are clicking into place. I will be checking in on Hugh on that front and March and Grey. God. God. I did have one question for you. Hmm? Though you. Actually, have kind of answered it in a very roundabout way. Mm hmm. I would have assumed that Gregory had enough to come. You, maybe not, but Gregory. I would have come. He, he does give a little, a little huffed laugh. You can tell he doesn't quite believe it. Um, maybe. But Gregory and I, well, I'd have assumed he liked me enough to come, but he wasn't there. 
and then you mentioned that you had dealings with the thrall. Well, I'm not stupid either. Hmm. I know something was chasing him. Indeed. I wish I'd been a little sharper to see it. His parent or progenitor ink donor, if you will, <laughs> made a deal. And I will not go into detail on that, but. Oh no, I'll ask him myself. Indeed. But from what I've been able to gather of time frames, you were gone for a similar amount of time. And the thrall had him. While no, using the word children is not apt for those three. While Grey, March, and Hugh were getting you. It appears at the same time I, myself, Pip, and another person we know, two in the end, were getting him out. And then, after that, after everything settled, helping another person. Another person I know that tangled with the thrall, not... Not a favour like you, just a payment, and the other was an interesting asset to the Thrall in a way. Quite terrifying that it wasn't a deal that got that one. He sucks slightly. Oh. I really did get out of it with the short end of the stick. But mm. I suppose the long end of the stick would be more apt. Mm. I was the lucky one. None of you were lucky. Well, lucky enough to have been able to come home. I do hate funerals. <sighs> I... Would advise talking to Gregory on some fronts. I think you both might benefit from it. Uh, I, I do have questions about parts, if you are willing to delve. And she's kind of looking at him to see whether he's up to talking about stuff that he just discussed. Because, yeah, she's not going to throw him back into the deep end and basically throw him into the harbour. She's not going to do that. He thinks things over for a moment and then goes, Be prepared that I might not answer. Or I might even tell you to shut the fuck up. Perfectly sure. understandable. But sure. Quite I expect nothing less, and I know I'm one to shove into places. It's a good trait as a detective. I'm both too blunt and sometimes too quiet. I keep a lot in this noggin. Perhaps too much. I don't know, I think there's a little bit more room in there. Hmm. <laughs> it's a crowded place, that's for sure, but... One thing I don't understand in a way, well, I can make my guesses, disgusting as they may be, but how to put it best? No, different tack. What was there and then your role to be at the Viridian Garden?
he pauses for a second like he doesn't fully understand what you're asking. Um, I was an indenture. Unless you mean my role on the floor. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, well, the most simple summation would be entertainer. Mm. I... I dealt cards at tables, I put on performances, I grifted, and I listened. Mm -hmm. Tunes are particularly prized in dentures in Katadan. There's not many there. If you have mm -hmm. one, it's a sign of status. Mm -hmm. I'm aware. <sighs> Unfortunately aware, yeah. How to put this, how to put this. We both appreciate bluntness. Your hands. You don't have to say, you don't have to say anything on that front. I, I guess it, well, I know it's an overstepping. I wouldn't ask about certain of my own scars. Your hands have been grievously... Grievously hurt. Are you willing to say how and why on the record, or would you like that to be laid to rest? Let's just say that razor blades are roughly the same weight if not the same dimensions as playing cards. Understood. And what they did to you? <sighs> when they With the recent events, with how everything has transpired. I can tell that you wouldn't be someone who would conform. So the actions done against you... To break you in again, I guess? Of course. You do not have to. I am sorry. I think... Okay. Go above the DC, barely. <laughs> I guess... I will not drill into this. I, I understand enough. Especially that not all of it is something that you would want, or that... Well... I get laying things to rest. I get what we keep in our hearts instead of saying out loud. Or at least what we say out loud to people like us. You and me. The last thing I guess I have is... The weave. How does... How does that mesh into all of this? How does that... Careful. Oh. No, it was just literally, how does that work with all of this? He gives a bitter little smile and he says, I have no idea. Did you make a deal with them, or...? I truly don't know. I don't remember the first time. Though, 
Rikishi had implied that I'd been to the plane of the week before. I don't remember. I don't know if mm. I made a deal or not, and isn't that just the kicker? Mm. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else that you would like to say on the record, I I'm not going to push, I'm not going to shove, I'm not going to stab. It's not like this. You keep comparing the two of us, but we're really not that similar. Hmm. How so? I'm genuinely shocked you didn't know. Enlighten me. You've always had people there. Maybe not the right people, but you've always had people there. Mm. You're getting better about listening to them now, but... You chose to draw away. You learned how to lie to protect them from you, as unnecessary as it was. Hmm. I see it. I see it. However, I do say that you do have people now, as has been made very apparent with uh, actual physical proof, in a way. <laughs> mm -hmm. I still don't understand why, but whatever. Found family is a hell of a trope, but... You once said to me a long time ago, from one monster to another. I, I carried that a long time, and there is, there is a slight shifting of the building around you. Hmm? I, I held that a long time. But one thing that I do think of, I have the potential to be a monster. I'm very aware of that. I fight against that every day. And I think, to an extent, so do you. You misunderstood then. You're no misunderstanding now. Oh? When did I say being a monster was a bad thing? Hmm. <laughs> I mean... I would have assumed you'd learned that by now, considering where we are. Indeed. Monstrous isn't cruel. Precisely. Hmm. I... I still fight against the worst side of it. And you do as well with that... Well, sharp tongue of yours, but... In the best way, Anquil is changing you. People care about you, and... I, I won't push on it, but you care about them. It's good that you're making connections. You're stronger for it.
And she does actually... She does drum her left hand on her right for a moment. Just go. I'm going to say something here. Just... You and I have history. And I want to make something clear that you are not a connection of mine. Yet we are not found family, but... I would be disappointed if we were. Carry on. <laughs> but you are someone that you and that March love. You are some. If this is going to be some pithy, if you need my help, you can call on me. Oh, I don't fuck need to fuck say fuck. it. No, more along the lines of don't bleed on their carpets or out in an alleyway, you piece of shit. <laughs> Network may want to drop a rafter on you as she's been whispering in the back of my head, thank you, all this time. I mean, if she does, then she'll just have to clean up the mess afterward. So we've, if she wants to make all works for herself, then whatever. We've, we've cleaned up worse. Trust me, we've, we've cleaned up a lot worse. Oh, don't underestimate how much I can bleed. I, I'm looking at you, Desmo, and trust me, whatever you're thinking, we've, we've had to deal with worse. We lived in a bad place. Not, not the worst place, but it wasn't great. I mean, we've you already may, dealt with You may have dealt with worse, but have you dealt with someone who's determined to get blood in every single nook and cranny in this building? Oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> you will be finding my blood for weeks if you do anything. Oh, your mother picker. All right, all right. <laughs> but I did want to say, because I, I know, I, I know hiding things from people. I know hiding injuries, not sometimes because we don't want them to see, sometimes just because we don't feel as though we're willing to open up on that front. So if you've got to bleed on someone's carpet, do come here. Eh? You're not a sketch on my wall, but... And she does... She does, after a moment, reach into her hammer space and slide something across the table. It, it is clear to see against the dark wood that it is a golden business card. Or at least a golden card. Are you sure Network would want me to have this? Mm. With only a business card, you can come and Network gets to decide whether you come in. Well, Network decides no matter what, but it doesn't give you immediate access. And, as we've learnt through someone else, if, and I am saying this in the most extreme circumstances, if it is ripped, Network and I feel it. Well, that's so when a story and a half. It was... It was something. You probably noticed my design. Before all of this, it tends to change, unfortunately. However, if ever you are in need, it's a quicker way of Perhaps getting help. But take it or leave it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you cindere son of a bitch. <laughs> Do you want me? Do you want me to roll insight? Can you even I, beat a thirty-four? No, didn't think no. so. Uh, he he does take the card, but as he's as he's slipping it up his sleeve, I'm only taking this because he would be upset if I were to get in trouble again. 
Of course. Yeah. He likes helping people. Well, He's a good I don't want to have to deal with his sad face. It's, it is a really sad puppy. Well, I say puppy, he's a sphinx picnic. Mm. You say Girl. that like that's my fault. I do not control the rate at which his design changes. Hell, I don't even control the rate at which my design changes. None of us control the rate at which our designs change. We, we go through them like a bloody roulette wheel. Speak for yourself. My design's been fairly stable. Hmm. In indeed, indeed. I can see it on that front. Hmm. I've got a few... Yeah, I've, I've got a few people and stuff. It's, as I said, Gregory, uh... You'll... You've already said about the gold eyes, it's... Yeah, as someone who's dealt with someone else who got those... I'm familiar with what they entail. Ah. There is a reason why my eyes are gold, after all. Though not by mm -hmm. choice, I assure you. Mm -hmm. But I am familiar with the cause. Is there a way of breaking it? I don't know. Right then. Another thing for a board. Well, no. This is not your responsibility. You and I are looking into it. Seeing as it's... Your side of things, Hugh's side of things, and another side of things, I'm afraid the board's kind of already started, but yeah. I'll, I'll be someone that you can come and tap on the shoulder if you want an extra little tidbit. You need therapy. I'm in therapy. You should attend more therapy sessions than you do. <sighs> I'll try. Mm -hmm. I'll try. It's that that's genuine And I, I know I'm picked in the head. I know I'm very, very picked in the head. Someone who's always terrified, someone who's been through a lot of jack shit. I still try and help. It's I help myself. I'm not going to do anything reckless to myself anymore. I'm Desperately trying on that front. It's hard, but I try. Good. Well, just know that you know I'm not bluffing when I say that if you backslide, I'll get the mayor and his husband on you. <laughs> God, you got a good card on that one, I'll admit. Makes sense with you. But yeah, they, they know me. Oh, I'm aware. Mm. Thank you. Whatever for. For being you. Hm. That's that's the most apt. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I can be cryptic like that, you bastard. No, it's not cryptic, it's just Strange. Anyway, uh, he does stand up. <clears throat> hey. A little wince, he puts weight back on his leg, but um, standing fairly well. This is gonna be me being blunt. Is it okay if I uh, cast a spell on you? Healing. Healing magic. He's already tried. Nah. It didn't really do much. This is Did about it? as healed as it's going to get, but the pain fluctuates from day to day. I assume you're familiar with that. Indeed. Which is uh, why I offered. It's... It doesn't... I don't tell my son or my cousin this and all that sort of stuff, but... It doesn't change my pain, but it does make it a little easier. And I would like to offer that to you, not out of pity, but out of understanding. Hmm. 
Don't touch my leg or my hands directly, but it's fine. He'll Thank step you. out from between the chairs to give you a little bit, or, little bit better access. She actively comes around the table, just... Yeah. And she is actually doing good today, genuinely. Even, even with all of this, she hasn't frayed as much as she could, perhaps. But she does just come around and just go, okay. Uh, healing word is decent, but I have also found cure wounds is pretty good. And she's just going to very much broadcast her movements as she touches him on the arm. Oh, nice. Lynn, you are actually trying to... Yeah. That is Max. Nice. He doesn't regain any healing, but mm -hmm. uh, I did just reroll his pain die. He has gone down a stage. Hmm. Went from a nine to a five. <laughs> Nice. Hmm. Well, I won't keep you waiting. You've got you've got a busy schedule, I'm sure. All your stuff that you do in stuck in trees, perhaps. Hmm. Oh no, no, I don't get stuck in trees. That's you, especially with these new wings of his. It, it's a pick and delight is what it is. It's fucking hilarious. Mm -hmm. Can I just for humor just because Decimal has a very unique trait. He has been sitting down and such. Would would his tail by any chance actually have been visible at any point? No, heart emoji. Same. <laughs> <laughs> A few days ago. I'm surprised that no one's pointed it out or no one's found it yet. Today. No heart emoji. Ha. Yeah, because he's very careful to keep that hidden. Yeah. But if you want to yeah. try and do a perception check for it. Alright. Oh, boy! Yeah! <laughs> oh, boy. Where's your roll? He also rolled a nat 20. Because <laughs> this is the sleight of hand check. He has advantage on it uh, because of his gloves. So, <laughs> what's the modifier? What's the modifier? Uh, uh, let's see, this perception plus eight. Ah, uh, nope. Not enough. <laughs> 28 no. does not be to 33. <sighs> one day, one day we'll get that. One day. I do love how these guys keep rolling the same goddamn thing on multiple things. It's, it's pretty fucking funny. Yeah. On God, if Lynn... The person with a tail is the last person to find out. I'm gonna fucking laugh. But we'll, yeah. But we'll see if that for the future, for if that actually happens that way. Because um, mm -hmm. I can't predict the future in it as much as Decimal can. Ah. Eh. But what will be will be. You got your own stuff. I'm presuming you got therapy. I'm also presuming you are going to physio. If I can find someone, yes. Hmm. I can probably, yeah, I've run background checks on a lot of people, I, I can probably find someone. I've got a case file on basically everyone I've met and a lot of people I haven't met. In hindsight, that is probably the apophenia and paranoia, but also, this is Ainquil, it's actually a benefit, quite frankly. You take care of yourself. You as well. If only because I don't want to actually have to go talk to the mayor again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get it. I get it. You. I don't know whether... In fact, she is close enough. You do probably catch the smile. It's... It's not the smile that she gives you. It is a bit rougher edged. You would think that if she still had, well, she does have little nubbin fangs. That they are present, but it's not a bad smile. It is still slightly friendly, just in a very different way to the other people that she knows. Yeah. I don't intend for you to have to go to them anytime soon, or in fact ever. 
It's we, we've done this song and dance enough. I'm trying here. Then keep trying, and I won't have reason. He gives her a uh, a flash of his own fangs in a in a in a smirk, uh, and then fucking walks out the door. Don't let the door hit you on your way out, sweetheart. No. <laughs> he <laughs> probably is... intentionally left the cane in the door jam so it couldn't hit him on the way out, suspecting exactly fucking that. There is, there is never so slight, just yeah, you can feel it, and then there is just the. It, it sounds like a petulant. It sounds like a petulant child. You're not gonna lie. The best, the best a house's slight creak can do so. He just snorts and walks off. <laughs> well, that's an Acerbic castle, but a good mother pecker. All right, foul time. And yeah, good fucking luck writing all that up. Oh no, tr trust me. Um, she's she's gonna do. Yeah, no, she she's gonna she's got a damn decent memory when it comes to cases. Oh no no, I meant translating it from a Serbic asshole to like official text. Ah, she'll she'll try. She'll try. There are ways. She's learnt them. She's had to say a lot of things about a lot of people over the years in writing. <laughs> Yeah. She thinks she gets him a little more now. Uh, yeah, I sure hope she does. He just spilled his life story to her. Yeah, you'd be surprised what these two can do with each other. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Gods. And we zoom out from there, methinks. Indeed. Okay. I was going to ask anything to add, but no. no that I is a. Hell yeah. So, that's. Thanks. Most of Decibel's lore done now. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I've been sitting on that for so fucking long, dude. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I was help I'm glad I was able to help come to life with it. I can English. But I yes. Know what you meant. <laughs> it's that was great. Thank you for doing this with me. I've loved it. Hell yeah. Alright, I'm gonna hit stop on my recording then. Mm-hmm. Bye bye. Bye.